return of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Where well, most of the time the opposite is y and the adjacent is x. So in our case here, we're going to have tan of alpha being equal to y divided by x. What is the value of y? Let's look at tan of alpha. We can see that the y value is 4 and the x value is 3. So we're going to have 4 divided by 3 as tan of alpha. Let's move to the equation that follows. 5.1.2. Determine the value of sine of 90 degrees plus alpha. Sine of 90 plus alpha will be equals to cos of alpha. Now we just need to figure out what cos of alpha is equals to. Cos of theta is equals to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. The adjacent usually being x and the hypotenuse is obviously r. So we have the value of x. x is equals to 3, but we need the hypotenuse. We can say that r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared. So r will be equals to 3 squared plus 4 squared. r is equals to 5. So now it is easy to see that cos of alpha is equals to the adjacent, which is 3, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 5. That is 5.1.2. Let's look at 5.1.3. Determine the values of m if it is given that 12 plus 13 sine of v is equals to 0. So we're looking for this value here of m on our coordinates r. On our coordinate r, we are using angle v, as we can clearly see. What do we have? We have 12 plus 13 sine of v being equals to 0. So sine of v will be equals to minus 12 divided by 13. But we know that sine is equals to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. The opposite is usually y, and the hypotenuse is r, obviously. From our coordinate r, we have the y value, which is minus 12, and we have the hypotenuse, which is 13. We are looking for m. So we can set up our equation in the following way. r squared is equals to x squared plus y squared. Like for us, we have r. So we're going to have 13 squared being equals to m squared plus y squared. That is minus 12 squared. We're going to have m squared being equals to 13 squared minus minus 12 squared. m squared is equals to 25. So it's either m is equals to 5 or m is equals to minus 5. What makes sense between the two values? x is negative in the third quadrant. So m cannot be equal to 5. m is equal to minus 5. So that is 5.1.3. Let's do 5.1.4. Determine the value of cos of alpha plus b. This is a compound angle. We can expand this in the following a cos of alpha multiplied by cos of v minus sine of alpha multiplied by sine of v. We know what cos of alpha is equals to from 5.1.2. It is 3 divided by 5 multiplied by cos of v. Cos is x divided by the hypotenuse. x in our case is the value of m if we are looking at angle v. That is minus 5. And the hypotenuse is 13. So we have that there. Minus sine of alpha. Sine is opposite, which is y. What is the value of y? At point v. That is 4. 
divided by our hypotenuse, which is 5. Multiply by sine of v, the value of y at r, that is minus 12, divided by the hypotenuse, which is equals to 13. This is equals to 33 divided by 65.